This is Pastor Rosemary's Final Prophecy Watch. I'm making this video because on March 26th of 2018, there's going to be a change in the way oil is traded. And it's going to be sort of a, they're going to start to have it traded in the yuan, the Chinese yuan, instead of the U.S. dollar. It's been the U.S. dollar for decades. And it's allowed the United States of America to, to enjoy with the dollar being what a, called a petrodollar or what oil was traded in, that it, it gave us a status of being the world's reserve currency and allowed a lot of clout to the dollar. Now that's, again, on the 26th, that's going to start to be traded in the yuan. And these, these kinds of things are, are, are a process. It, it's not anything that happens where you flip a switch, but it is a process. And it is the beginning of this being a time when that status, which the U.S. has enjoyed again for decades, is going to begin to, to change. Now, that doesn't mean, however, that there won't be other uh, other types of enterprises that America can can be engaged in that will pretty much allow us to also still be an important superpower, but along with other superpowers, you know, more of a community. And I made a video a while back on one of my other channels regarding. Uh, special drawing rights, SDRs, where the, you have a basket filled with various uh, different kinds of currencies like sterling and uh, I, I believe that's uh, uh, from the UK and also uh, like rubles, that kind of thing, where you have different kinds of currencies that can be drawn from this basket. It's been a while since we, we really talked about those kind of things, but but this is all about, you know, they talk about one world governments and one world currencies, but it's it's really you know there's so many um, very uh, exotic financial instruments now, like there's all these cryptocurrencies that it it's it's gotten a lot more interesting and given people a lot more opportunities than they probably ever thought were going to be possible. So this is going to be something. Th this is how it works. It's it's, it's not always going to be a bad thing. Because, remember, all things work together for good for those who love God and serve his purpose. So what would be good to understand is that the reason China's been doing well is because they had more of a devalued currency. And in the United States of America, the dollar, it was more of a, uh, it was a higher, you know, valued currency. So it allowed the United States to be a consumer nation, whereas China and other nations may have been manufacturing or providing goods and services and the U.S. consuming because they had a high value currency, the U.S., and then, the, uh, and then China ha had a, a, a lower value. They devalued their, their currency. Now, now it's going to, we're kind of moving into an era where most likely China will have a, an elevation of the value of their currency of the yuan and in the dollar in the United States will, will most likely be devalued and that will probably be due to inflation. So that will, that will cause the United States of America to once again become maybe, you know, some, a, a nation which can manufacture and provide good, goods and services and then China can become more of a consumer nation and it's just something where, where everybody gets a turn in a different, uh, ha having a different role. Again, it's a community and sometimes when one, when one person, you know, has done something too long, maybe they want to move to a different uh, expression of their job and then someone else move into what they used to do and then they do something new you know just because either another generation comes in 
with with different ideals or a person, you know, it's their time to evolve into something else. So again, don't see this as having to be something that, that's necessarily very uh, difficult. It is something that you should uh, make sure that you position yourself correctly for, but it's not something that necessarily has to be bad if you if you position yourself properly and you've taken care to make sure that, that you are someone who who is able to have value which you're able to produce. Uh, one of my mentors, uh, Stuart Wild, uh, which I've studied a lot of his books and, and tapes for a very long time, he, he once uh, had said in one of his books that you can never be without value or without a, a job if you're the person that will, you know, who, who will pick up all the chairs and, and stack them and who will organize and make sure that all the paperwork is done and keep the, the you know, keep the, the keys of the kingdom safe and, you know, be the responsible person that does all that sort of minutia work. You know, it, again, it's something that Stuart Wall said in one of his lectures, which was on a tape that I listened to, and I believe it was one of his books too, but Definitely, he did say in one of his lectures, if you're the kind of person, again, that will, that will pick up all the chairs and, and be responsible and do all those little things that nobody else has time for or can remember to do, if you're sort of going to do all of those tasks that are so important, you can never be without a job, never be without a career, because you will always be in demand, because most people don't want to do those kinds of things. So again, th there's, if you position yourself correctly and you just do the work that God's given you to do each day, you don't have to wonder, what am I going to do? Each day God will give you what he wants you to do. And you simply do that and, and find the good in it and you'll always be in a, in a good position and you don't have to worry about whether or not you're going to be provided for, for we know that that. God provides for the, the, the birds and, and the lilies of the field and we're not fed or clothed as well as they. We know that. So there's no need to worry. But if you want to find out how you can actually become wealthy from that kind of a, of, of a new evolution, a new economic evolution, then simply... Learn how you can add value to, for you and your family. I'm not a financial advisor. I, I'm, I'm an astrologer. I do Christian astrology, and, and I'm a Christian psychic. But if you, there's many financial channels out there and many uh, very learned people. So you can just find out about how to, you know, just really stick with the necessities of life, the basics, and you'll always be able to to come out ahead. Okay, thank you, and we'll see you soon.